Amsterdam Show, brought to you through the facilities of the Dumont Television Network. <laughs> Presented by your Dumont dealer, the man who holds the coveted Dumont Television Dealer franchise. With Maury Amsterdam, Art Carney, Dottie Dean and Freddie Blair, Leo, Lindy Blank, Jody Miller, and Johnny Guarneri, his piano and his orchestra, at the Silver Swan Cafe. Dumont, first with the finest in television, proudly presents the Sherbrook Console. With 19-inch direct view, light tone, picture view, oversized chassis for longer life and superb performance, both AM and FM radio, and free speed automatic record player, America's distinguished teleset. The Hanover console in classic Heppel White design, with 19-inch direct view, picture tube, FM radio, and phonograph plug-in. Remember, there are many new and different models in both mahogany veneer and bond hardwood made by Dumont. Dumont, the world's largest organization devoted exclusively to television and electronics. And now your Dumont dealer invites you to join Maury Amsterdam and the Happy Gang at the Silver Swan Cafe. Happy to see that you're having such a wonderful time. It's floor show time again, so will you kindly hurry back to your tables and chairs? Time for me to introduce the man who's going to take you on a gay tour of our club, the man who makes you feel mellow when he plays his cello, and your host, Maury Amsterdam. <laughs> Well, fellas, what do you think, huh? I haven't worn this hat in 20 years. Which reminds me of a joke I haven't told in 20 years. Well, go ahead and tell it. I will, and he did. A fella calls up, and a fella in a little tailor shop answers the phone. He says, hello. Voice on the other end says, hello, boy, how are you? But there's a beagle that's in full cry. It's the hunting season, you know. Oh, so not you fall fall, but they had to pick you up in about a half hour. Voice on the other end says, oi, have you got the wrong number? <laughs> I like that myself. There's a ball on the loose in this fair city. Ah, but he's a mighty crafty guy. He kisses women in the park, then sneaks away into the dark. I've been a busy little bee, haven't I? Fashion experts say the dresses should be shorter. Save material, let skirts be high. If you're wondering who's the brain that started the short skirt campaign, been a busy little bee, haven't I? Why, to me, there's nothing new, I'm always there. Just like bitches shampoo, I'm always in your hair. At a restaurant over in Jersey City, some guy served me a piece of rotten pie. Now in the kitchen, take a look, some mad fiend to stab the cook. I've been a busy little bee, haven't I? You're sound asleep at 4 a.m. some morning. The phone bell rings and some guy says, guess who? Why, only a low conniving rat would do a dirty trick like that. I've been a busy little road to lose. Say, you take your clothes and you send them out to the laundry. What do they do? They tear your shirts and start your underwear. Now, if you're wondering who's the jerk that does all that dirty work, ain't I obnoxious? <laughs> Why, there's nothing, I don't know, I'm never wrong. I'm a whack, what a whack, I'm the guy who wrote this song. Someone stealing Betty Grable's sweater. Dottie Lamore's the wrongs are missing too. And some low-down awful brute stole Esther Williams' new bathing suit. Well, I like to swim myself once in a while. I've been a busy little bee. Have a Been a busy little bee, haven't I? Haven't I? Been a busy little bee. Th Wait a minute. Shh. I must explain the reason the band is all a little confused tonight and unhappy because the drummer in the band 
Frankie Garisto is leaving. This is his last show. He's joining the Army. And Frankie, we want to say that we, it's been wonderful having you with us. God bless you. And, and have a, if you need anything, you know. Fellas, I really feel bad about him going and everything. And we're taking pictures this afternoon and everything. You know, a funny thing about taking pictures, wherever you go nowadays, you got fellas with cameras. They got these Polaroid cameras, you get a picture in one minute and you go into cafes, they always have the girls there taking snapshots. Of course, in our cafe, we can't afford girl snapshot takers, so we have a fella who is here taking pictures. And if any of you folks are interested in having your picture done, I'll send a man over to your table. Hey, miss, do you want a picture take? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get Johnny Granary's dialect? <laughs> hey, mister, you want a picture taken? I don't want to know a picture. But I think you go around to the customers. I got to some friends from San Francisco there. I'm a grass. You take a picture, maybe. They like to have a picture You taken. don't mind, huh? I don't mind. There's a Walter Winchell's wife over there. We're not Walter Winchell. Georgie Walter. I'm all right. Oh. <laughs> maybe she likes to have one. Well, I'm oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enjoying yourself. I want right. to run outside and drink a hot cup of nothing. I'll be back later. Okay. This is Freddie Blair and Dottie Dean have also been with us a real long time, but he's not going in the army. He was turned down during the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> but they're real happy tonight, too, because they, after being in show business a long time, they finally saved all their money and bought a nice new home that they're moving into tomorrow. Over and where's that? Hillsdale, New Hillsdale, Jersey. Hillsdale, New Jersey. It was built for you by... Tandy and Allen. We got plugs in for That's everybody. See you later. What? Electric door that goes up by pushing a button. You does, huh? Well, I'll be inside the door. Keep looking. I'll be over there. First meal. First meal. Huh? First meal. Forget it. 
guy cooks like crazy. He got an Italian dish, spaghetti and matzo balls, the greatest thing you ever ate in your life. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have... What's all off? The hair on that man's head. Oh, come on. That's a good sure fire start. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, crazy. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Minute, Forgot that egg. You've been I won't. Well, lucky it was hard boiled. Take the shells off and eat it later. Yeah? <laughs> crazy about eggshells. Come on, you're, you're crazy, period. What are, are you, you all right? Yeah, I'm dandy. And I'm glad I'm crazy. What are you doing with Which the Which reminds egg? me, I got another egg in my pocket. Another? Another egg? Yeah. 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 Reminds me of a story of two eggs yeah. when they were talking. One egg says the other egg says, say, I hear you were in a little hot water last night. And the other egg says? The other egg says, yes, I got home, I was a little boiled. Uh-huh. Wife right, put me on a pan. Uh-huh. Should have seen the scramble. Yeah, sir. Then this guy, <laughs> <is> Al Buman. <laughs> Come on, you silly man. What are you doing? Now, what's all this business? Come on, I'll tell Dad. Calm, Calm down. Calm down. There's a reason when you get all excited this way. Leave us settle down and I'll tell you. All right, tell me. I heard through the grapevine yes. that this joint, <laughs> this silver swan, is closing for all orations. That's right. About two or three more weeks, we're going to close up for a while. Well, I thought I'd go on a little PA tour. PA, personal appearance. No pickled anchovies. <laughs> Caught personal appearance. Well, what are you going to do? Well, vaudeville and the Charleston's all coming back, you know. That's right. They're bringing all the old stuff back. Don't be self-conscious about it. <laughs> got a brand new act. Do it all with my nose. Well, you got a point there. <laughs> There ain't no button hook on your kisser. <laughs> what kind of an act you can do for Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to call the act. Boing! <laughs> Newton and his train nose. Hey, that's news. No nose. What kind of an act you can do with your nose? What do you mean, what kind of an act I'm going to do with my nose? You know what the grand finale is? No, I don't even know what the act is. Well, I'm getting to the finale. I'm skipping the lousy stuff. <laughs> All right, come on. That's your already done bid. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Go for ahead. the finale. For the finale, yeah. I turn into a television set. And that ain't easy because I'm a radio. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Wait a minute. If you do an act with your nose, where did your nose come in with the television? I don't understand it. The nose is the knob. You mean just by turning the, uh, the knob, you get the different station? That's right. Uh-huh. Let's give this a whirl. Let's All right. All right. Come on. Hey, your nose is nice and cold. You should have a good, healthy television. Well, my battery warms up. Hey. This Short cool. wave. Ah! <laughs> Come on, what are the ears for? Well, that's the volume. You see, you turn them one way, that's right, and they get very loud, then you turn them very soft. Even very loud, but they were... I Don't make it difficult. Come here, let's get that picture. All let's right. Let's get the picture. All, All right. right. Okay, here, come on, let's get that picture. Let's straighten out that picture. Okay, now let's get it this way. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Now we got the picture right in focus. All, right. All set. Now try one of the network stations up there around the adenoids. Thank you, thank you, and good evening, this is Fred Allen. As the big toe said to the little toe, don't look now, but I think we're being followed by a heel. Oh. Hey, that's good. Thank All right, you. now let's try a little news. A little news. You've got a nose for news. Good evening. This is TV Calvin Bourne. We understand what's in the political adjustment. Now, mode of living today during the seven fifth there, as we know, that will end today. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Music there. Fighting with the moon. Wow. I have been my favorite. My, wow. my favorite singer, Morton Downey. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Elsie the Cow. All right, now what do right, you want? So, now let's see if we can try a little something else. A little coach. Maybe a little, a little uh, soap opera in a here. A little play. Yeah. Good afternoon. Another episode of Life Boy Can Be Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> when last, last we left them, when West we left there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't got it adjusted right. <laughs> <laughs> when last we left them, our hero was suffering from a severe case of amnesia. Yes. Portia had a severe case of hooch. <laughs> As our episode starts, we hear... Yes, yes. We hear... What do we hear? What do we hear? Da -ba -ba -boom. <laughs> Stay here, please. Now, don't go away now. You're supposed to be a television, you know. Let's get back to the music. All right, come on. What happened with the television? I broke my antenna. All right, come on. Let's just stand here. <laughs> let's get something real musical now. To spend one hour with you. Oh, boy, my friend. And this What a 
Derek character. Now that he's kind of put you in the mood for a little music, we have a lovely young lady who is paying her second visit to the Silver Swan in just a very short time because she made such a big hit with our customers. We know you're going to enjoy her. Incidentally, she made her television debut with us, visiting from Washington, D.C., Jody Miller. <laughs> Here. We're having a good time and we're happy to have you with us. Well, I'm happy to be here. Well, that's good. As a matter of fact, I'm always happy. You're always happy? Yes. As a matter of fact, the other day. Yes. As old Mr. Grouch sat on his couch and told me that the end of the world was near. My happy heart rose with a start. Hollering, let's get Money. I don't know who you can get in touch with. Not you? Not me, but thanks for coming. Bye. Bye, bye. Isn't she nice? She's a very, very lovely girl. Oh, wait a minute. Two minutes over. We got a big thrill for you tonight. We know that everybody is crazy about the ballet, and we have a wonderful, wonderful thrill for you. A little later in the show, I said that before, because that's where I heard it. But we have something. Well, I'm not going to tell you about it. First, I want you to hear a few words from your local Dumont dealer. It's so hard to make up my mind. I'd like to have them all. <laughs> Well, there are many new models in both mahogany veneers and blonde hardwood, each with fine performance. And I'm sure whichever one you choose would give you a lot of pleasure because there's a treasure of pleasure for moments of leisure with Dumas. Life has more to it, you thrill when you view it through Dumas. First with the finest in television, that's the set to all. Famous for life tone and life size pictures, Dumont stands alone. For instance, take the magnificent new 1951 Dumont Mount Vernon console with 19 inch direct view picture. Why, just imagine how it would look in your own living room. And just think of the hours of entertainment you'll enjoy each week. There's a treasure of pleasure that's far beyond measure with Dumas. Home becomes brighter and hearts are much lighter with Dumas. Dumas, the hallmark of quality, products of master design. There's no comparing the joys you'll be sharing with Dumas. Yes, friends, that's a word from your Dumont dealer. Well, now your Dumont dealer has another surprise for you. 
It's a 1950 football schedule of all the major colleges and universities in the country, plus all the latest penalties and rules of the 1950 football season and diagrams of all the stadiums. And it's yours just for the asking. Drop into your Dumont dealer, and he will give it to you absolutely free. Say, Maury, what's the big surprise? Well, everybody is so interested in a ballet that we have a ballet authority with us now. You know, they have the Sadler Wells Ballet, sure. and everybody's crazy about it. Mm -hmm. This fella is probably one of the greatest authorities on ballet in the whole world. The great Nijinsky, the famous ballet dancer, once said of this man... What? But I want to tell you, hmm? that this fellow... Well, wait till I bring him out here. I want you to meet him now. Get ready, because he's a very fine <coughs> English gentleman. All right. Lord Newton Chiselworth. How are you, Don? No, 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 that's Mr. Amsterdam. Uh, I'm Hello, Mr. Hello, I love that yucca fuck. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, this is no, Mr. Amsterdam. I, I see you just had your hair cut in a pet shop. Looks very nice, sir. Good, really. Uh, is there anything we can do for you, sir? How about uh, a cigarette or cigarette? something? Uh, no, thank you. Just have my shoe shine. Oh, no, 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 I'm out. <laughs> anything uh, we can do to make cigar? you happy, the two no, of us? No, thanks. Don't drink. Okay. <laughs> yes, there is something you can do for me, old yes, boy. Yeah, what is it? Scrap. Man, just get out. I guess we'll have to go. Thank you. Bye. See you at the gym. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, silly Billy me. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? That's show business. <laughs> Looking for my spot here. <laughs> now then, fellow lovers of the dance. Or as my good friend Winston Churchill once said, I know that it all burns up living during this present phase of a vow. As you know, then we all. This is nothing like culture, culture. <laughs> now back to this tripe. <laughs> my subject, my subject for tonight is the history and technique of the ballet. Or how to pickle a Brussels sprout during the molding season. <laughs> I believe it was the Greek Philips, Kaiser. I believe it was the Greek Philistines. Think of it, some chap by the name of Socrates, <laughs> who once said, Itchititis, Occuporus, Spirus Curus, Amonus, Streptococci. <laughs> He's obviously talking about his mother in law. <laughs> but that is neither hither nor yon. No yon's other wife. There's a play on words there that'll fracture you. <laughs> now, dancing is not new. People have been dancing from way back, especially rumba dancers. I was a dancer myself, Russian ballet. And I was a rascal with a ballerina. <laughs> they called me the gremlin of the Kremlin. <laughs> but we're wandering away from our subject, aren't we? Glad? <laughs> now then, what is the ballet? Hmm? According to Professor Meyer Sprinkelwasser, it's the Nick and Ballet Dancer Yard. In like Ballet Dancer, Ballet Dancer, Prince of Schwanzer. And a rose for you. <laughs> now then, in order to illustrate my lecture, I have brought with me a group formerly with Sadler's Wells, now known as Sadler's Blisters. For you, they do Tchaikovsky's lovely ballet suite, Dance of the Marshmallow Indian Nuts. <laughs> or afternoon of a pastrami on a seated road. And now I see the concert is about to start. The house lights are beginning to dim. These lights don't seem to give a dim. <laughs> and the conductor. The conductor is now mounting the podium. The assistant conductor is now mounting the podium. He made it, stout fellow. First one is too stout. Music, Mike. We find ourselves in the woods. A gentle breeze is blowing. Birds are flying, flying through the air. They went that way. <laughs> See, in Birdland, we'll live. <laughs> Listen, we hear the voice of Mother Nature. Thank you, Lydia Pinkle. <laughs> Suddenly, the queen of the wood nymph makes her entrance. This, my friends, is a very difficult step. And quite a strain on a blue jay corn plaster. <laughs> However, she begins her dance of happiness. She's expressing something very emotional. 
She wants to go to a party and pull Kathy. <laughs> Now this, my friends, isn't much of a step, but it gives her a chance to rest her feet. <laughs> Hark! Hark! It is the sound of the beautiful pipes of Pan. <laughs> Sounds like the Pan needs new pipes. <laughs> now your father's pulling for. <laughs> that boy's got a nice delivery. <laughs> And now the Queen of the Wood Nymphs is very happy, for she knows her lover approaches. And here he comes now, the handsome fairy prince. <laughs> it seems, it seems that he's been fishing, and he tells her about the big barracuda he just caught. Ah, but she keeps running away. She can still smell that confounded fish. But now, my friends, a storm approaches. Their hearts are filled with terror. But they know the wicked demon of the forest. The the Then there's trouble. And the best I can do is a hundred dollars in the drugstore. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, get carried away. And now, the wicked demon of the forest is near, and here he comes now. <laughs> At this point, friends, it's rather difficult to explain what they're doing, because it seems they don't quite know themselves. And now, it's quite obvious what they're doing. They're pleading for the wood nymph's love, and she doesn't know which one to choose. <laughs> Why has the queen turned against the fairy prince? What does the wicked demon have that the fairy prince does not have? I'll tell you. He has two tickets to the World Series. <laughs> The fairy prince is sad, so he dances. You can see he's a pretty sad dancer. <laughs> but the wood nymph tells him not to feel badly because she has a sister whom she knows he'll be crazy about. And here comes her crazy sister now. <laughs> I hope by now that you all understand the ballet, and if you'll excuse me, I'll join the family circle myself. This is the Dumont Television Network.